hi ladies welcome back to my channel uh first off i do gotta say something that is very obvious if you um subscribe to my channel and you see my channel and you see my pictures on instagram every single day yes it's me i changed my hair color again i'm so sorry um i really did try to get that blonde ombre um I had to wait till my ends um, got a little bit better in order for me to actually um, keep dyeing it and keep getting it lighter but I just kept seeing it getting more and more damaged the ends just looked horrible so I was just like I posted a picture on Instagram to get your um, you guys' opinion on uh, either the Burnett Ombre or the Jet Black. I got mostly more Jet Black. My husband loves Jet Black. And I do got to tell you, the hair looks a lot healthier. So I did go back to Jet Black. And I am wearing my new set of hair extensions that I just got from Luxury for Princess. We'll, get, we'll do another video because these are brand new extensions. Um, these are their, I think it's their Glamorous set which is 280 grams of hair 24 inches long but that's another video we're not gonna get into that but i know you guys probably noticed um something different it is my hair it is me um comment below if you like to change if you like uh black again um if you like ombre i'm still not i'm gonna ignore that because i'm definitely not gonna try and do that again so anyways let's jump into today's videos which is going to be about reviewing the new maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation i don't tend to do like first impressions a lot on this on this channel so i'm going to try and get used to doing this mostly drugstore products because i think they're more accessible to people so i'm going to be trying to do those like that um so when it said matte and poreless i said hold on girl you need to try it because it has both of the things you look for in a complexion my my um primer needs to do something with my humongous pores because I have humongous pores, they look like 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 craters. That's how you call it in Spanish. Is crater or crateres? I don't even know how to say in Spanish. I don't know, but it looks like a huge holes. And then if I don't wear something to minimize them or or fill them in, it just looks horrible. So and then I look for foundation that's gonna give me a matte finish. So when I saw this, I said, "Hmm, hmm, could it be? Could it be?" So I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today. This one is not going to be a first impression because I've sort of been using it for the past week, I want to say, a little bit less than a week. And I will give you, you guys know here on my channel, I give you my 100% honest opinion. It is my opinion. It's what I think about the foundation. It's how it worked on my face. I'm wearing 220 and I think it blends very well when I blend it all the way down to my neck and my neck and part of my chest. So first off, it's doesn't say it lasts for a certain amount of hours it just says matte and poreless and it says for normal to oily skin um i gave you guys the color so let's go ahead and take a look at it in the inside if you guys haven't seen it yet on the stores um i really like the foundation to be honest but anyways let me move on. i'll tell you exactly my thoughts later on um what I noticed is that it it had a regular makeup smell. If that is, it makes any uh, any sense, some foundations I've tried in the past kind of have like some fragrance, and the other ones have like an alcohol smell to it that I really really don't like. Consistency wise, I think it's a pretty good consistency. It is not too thick, as you guys can see. It takes a little bit to come out. It is not too thick. It is not too liquidy, too watery. If I would say. I really really like the consistency of it let me put this back because I am not gonna use it and foundation is quite expensive so we're gonna go ahead and save every last drop of it so consistency wise I really like it because when I put it in my face for me I'm gonna be honest it gives me sort of a medium to full coverage um, if you want it to build it up it's awesome because like that you can actually just apply one coat of foundation or you can do two I tend to apply my first as you guys will see my first coat and then with whatever i have left i like to go ahead and go in just to kind of build the coverage up a little bit because i love myself some full coverage foundation i didn't apply it as you guys are going to see in the video i really did not apply any primer to my face why because the foundation says it's poreless my primer is pore minimizing so if i apply the primer 
I'm not going to see a much difference when I apply the foundation. I really do want to see that my pores are pretty much hidden or um, filled in or whatever. The pores doesn't see. But if you have a primer that is just pretty much to set your foundation, go ahead and wear it. I didn't wear mine because of that reason. I did wear moisturizer. Always tend to wear moisturizer before my foundation. Again, I have dry, sensitive skin. I don't want it to dry a little bit more. I apply this foundation with a e.l.f. small stippling brush. It's a very small stippling brush. Um, I think I love the way it applies it. It kind of gives me that flawless finish to my face. I really, really love using this stippling brush. Um, you can use any stippling brush. It was like $3 at the at Target by e.l.f. And I think it works really, very well when I'm applying it. I'm not going to talk too much about it. Just that I said that honestly it is for me. It did give me a matte finish to my face. I do see that it kind of blur, blurs the pores a little bit. It's not like too much. If I wanted it more like flawless, I would probably wear my primer. But if I'm sort of in a hurry, all I can just throw in is the um, foundation and I think it's gonna look very well it's not gonna my pores are not gonna be like hello I'm here so I gotta say I like it um I don't know maybe it's gonna be my holy girl foundation for this year because I'm actually loving the coverage and the only thing I did notice is that you have to let it dry a little bit before you can actually apply anything else to your face or if you want to set it with powder you can do so in this case I didn't because I have my powder which is um the Rimmel matte and again I really wanted to see how well it mattified my face I'm actually loving this foundation I think it's an awesome foundation I think it stands for its name when it comes to matte and poreless and the price it was um, roughly around 11 bucks I wanted to say at Walgreens so if you have not yet tried the mattes and poreless and you're probably stuck on the L'Oreal infallible I think you can go ahead and try if you like matte and you like poreless in one product I think you can go ahead and try it I definitely definitely recommend it it's really 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 good I really like it Mwah. thank you for coming into my life and it has not broke me out <laughs> yeah, I like that so if you want to see the coverage sorry it's just that i'm not used to 24 inches of hair <laughs> i'm like sitting on it <laughs> just kidding i'm not so you're gonna see the um, application how well it blends your face and the coverage of the foundation all you gotta do is stay watching so here what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna be applying my moisturizer to my face um just plain moisturizer that it's all that i'm wearing i'm not wearing my primer so here it is, complete empty face only with the moisturizer and now I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation to my face. So let's see consistency wise. I told you that it was not too thick, it was not too watery so it's pretty good consistency. As you guys can see, I'm using the stippling brush by e.l.f. and I'm going to be applying it to half of my face so you guys can actually see the coverage on one side and the other. So I'm just going to t tap the uh, product onto the brush and I'm just going to be applying it to one side of my face so you guys can see the difference. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can get to know each other a little bit better. And anytime now, present. There we go. So again, I'm just applying it to uh, one part of my face so you can see the difference of the coverage of this foundation. I know it's a little bit darker but I like a little bit darker because I'm too pale and I just like to bring a little warmth to my face. So here it is. You see um, half of the face is covered with the foundation and the other one is of course not. And you can see it pretty much pies. Let me focus. There we go. Are we stopped now? So half of the face it has um, the foundation as you guys can see. It starts off with like a sort of like a dewy finish but then it turns matte so let's move on to the other half of the face I look weird So to give me more coverage, I go in and I apply a second coat and here it is. This is the finished product, all my face with the foundation. I think it leaves pretty good of coverage. I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup now.
that is it for my video hopefully you found this video informative as to whether to buy the fit me foundation or not if you have bought it already or not maybe i'm a little late on the video but i don't care um i was a little late at buying it but i really wanted to share with you girls my subscribers my subbies that this foundation really does work i really really like it so Thank you so much for sticking till the end. If you want to see more videos or reviews or product reviews, all you got to do is give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and make sure you click that subscribe button. Be blessed, precious pros. Until my next video. Bye.